Visit stairs4u.com for more stair building tips and information. Here's a nice shot of a stair stringer that's attached correctly to a stair ledger. This stair ledger is actually attached to a wall that's holding up the stair landing. So this is a good method to use for creating a nice healthy connection for the stair stringer to the stair ledger. Sometimes you will run into a situation, and I've seen this a lot, where someone installs a stair stringer and it's not, doesn't have enough support underneath it. It's almost like the bottom's missing. I'm going to show you a picture of that in a moment. Here's a good example of what I'm talking about. The stair stringers don't have any support behind them. And with this, the way this stairway is designed, you could actually have the stair stringer split. Um, there is a better way that you could have built this set of stairs, and that would have been by attaching a stair ledger to the structural floor framing beam. Um, inexperienced stair builders run into these types of problems all the time. So be careful and be aware that there are solutions to most of the stair building problems that master carpenters face um, with structural engineering design problems like this. If you notice that floor beam probably can't move. The floor beam is sitting on top of a couple of walls and probably can't be relocated easily. So stair builders are going to be forced to work around situations like this and get a little creative. But again, this is not a good connection for a stair stringer, um, the top of stair stringer at all. If you're interested in other construction related topics, we suggest that you visit a few more of our websites.